Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make something sort of like this. Um, this will be a background for your computer or um, whatever you want. For what I did with the other one I made was I put it as my um, website banner. So, yeah. So I'm going to uh, show you how to make this. Um, I started off with um a 1024 by 768 and what i first did was color it in with black now pick two colors that are similar um i picked this a lighter shade of green and a darker shade of green and use your gradient tool FG to BG and stroke up or down but be sure that your um, lighter color is on the top like this okay that's it now we want to go to filters um, light and shadow, lighting effects. And you want to move your blue dot sort of not too close to the um, image, but not too far. And for material, it is glowing is point zero point seven, um, bright is zero point five, shining is zero point five, polished is three. So you guys can pause the video for a second and copy that down. Now we want to press OK. Okay, now we want to uh, create a new a text. And for this, I picked TWCENMT Condensed Bold. Um, if you guys have Photoshop or Adobe products, I would I recommend you to pick um, Myraid. It's spelled M Y R A I D. I don't know if it's My Myraid or Myriad. I don't know because I watched someone else's video. It, they called it Myriad. I I don't know. So I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Now for the color, you want a pretty dark gray color, but not that dark. So about about here. And just write something you want. Now use the move tool and center it. Or you can go right here or on the top whatever I'm gonna center it okay go to your layers dialog you should have these two layers right now and go to filters on your uh, text layer go to filters light and shadow drop shadow drop it by offset X is one offset Y is one and blur radius two um, you guys can go with the blur radius 3. I have never tried it before, but I believe 3, 4, 5 will work. And the color is white. And uncheck allow resizing. Opacity is 80. And click OK. Now you should get this outline. Create a new layer. And on your text layer, uh, select alpha to selection. And for the new layer, um, I will just rename it so it's easier to teach you how to do this. Um, I'll put outline. Okay. Now, um, oops. Okay. Now go back to select invert. So you have this whole thing selected except for the um, letters. Now go to your outline layer and press the, actually no, press, uh, go, pick black as your color right now and color it with black. Now select none. You should get something like this. 
it's okay if you have this shadow outline part. It's fine. Now we want to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And blur about, tw uh, if you are using Myraid, um, I would blur it about by a 7 or 8. Um, for this font, I would use 12, 13, or 11. So for the text, I would put something really bold and not something really skinny because it won't show. You should see some um, green or whatever your background color is. We want to lower the opacity about 55 and use the move tool and move it towards the right a little bit until you can see the um, some of the green. About here. Uh, now we want to go back to the text layer, um, alpha to selection, select, invert, and go back to your outline layer and delete, and select none. And you should get sort of a engraved text, a pressed text print. Um, this is what P uh, Photoshop and Dreamweaver, like the little icon, what it did like how they made it so but photoshop is different from gimp so they probably made it in this different way okay now we want this reflection so we want to merge down these layers and I'll rename it to text okay now duplicate this this layer once and go back to the text layer, not the text copy layer, but the text layer, and go to flip tool and flip it uh, vertically until you get this. And move it down um, right below the letter. And don't move it too far apart, but not too close. Now, what we want to do is if you have a Y in your um, text, just erase the part that doesn't belong there, like right here. Now I'll go back to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. I'll blur about 12 or 13. And you should get something like this. Um, I don't really like how my letter is like really low right here. So I'm going to move it up. Now, um, it sort of gives you a reflection right now, so that's good. Now, pick another shade of the color, but s between the darker color and the lighter shade, and go back to the gradient tool and FG to transparent. We want to stroke up until you can cover some of this stuff. Or you can go um, back to what you used before, like the colors with the um, gradient that we just made, and just stroke it like this. Okay, that didn't work. Um, FGT transparent. Yeah, that's about so um yeah this is this is what it should look like um so I hope you like this tutorial please subscribe and comment me um yeah okay see ya